right, we have a 1930s Gibson TB11 banjo. Let's hear what it sounds like. <laughs> So uh, this is a uh, original TB11, which has a, a Yates tone ring in it, and uh, we'll just look at the the pot, okay? And uh, you'll notice that this is an unplated tone ring. Some people like those for some reason. Uh, and we'll look at the back, and this is what's called perloid, and. What I say when I see these, if you're an entertainer and you uh, flip your banjo around in the middle of a song, whoa, I mean, that's pretty entertaining versus a plain old uh, mahogany or a plain old maple uh, back, or resonator, back to the resonator. So anyway, so uh, I think they're, they're very cool. Um, this, of course, has the three-ply, five-eighths maple shell, which is magical. And we'll go up the neck and you can see the inlays. And it is a Gibson and we'll turn it over and you can see what that looks like. Beautiful banjo, extraordinarily good sounding banjo. And uh, once again, if you wanna see this, See more pictures, more descriptions, just go to banjowarehouse.com. And uh, you can call Andy at 404-372-5482. Let's repeat that, 404-372-5482. And uh, we've got about 70 banjos in stock. You can come and play them. In fact, about an hour ago, some guy drew from uh, up in Tennessee and came and bought a banjo because he was able to see it and play it. You'll be able to compare different kinds, like a Stelling, you can compare it with a Gibson to a Bischlein, uh, to a Uber. And um, <coughs> so there are all kinds of uh, advantages because you can determine what sound you're looking for. And uh, instead of having to buy five or six banjos and compare them over the internet, you can actually come and walk away with your dream instrument. So if uh, you do decide to come once again, give us uh, one day's notice because we might be out buying banjos or at lunch or something. And uh, that's basically it. So you guys have a great day and hopefully we'll talk to you soon.